So I want to take a minute to show an algebraic way to find a pattern for something like this uh, figure sequence that's occurring above. So one thing I can do is first I need to, I create a table. And in this case I would say that I have four figures. In my first figure I have one square. In my second figure I have three squares. The third figure I have six squares. And the fourth figure I have ten squares. So the first thing I do then is I look for what's the change from one set of one figure to the next in the number of squares. And if I look here, I have a change of 2, a change of 3, and a change of 4. Now if those three numbers had been uh, the same number, I'd know that I have a linear function that's occurring in this problem. But because they're different, I can see that there's an increasing change, so I want to keep going. And I'll see if I can figure out when does the change become the same. So if I go another level, I can see that that change at the next level is 1 in both of these. That tells me that because it took two levels to get to where the change between terms is the same, that I'm dealing with a quadratic function. So the next thing I do is I go through and I create, well, what would be the quadratic function? So if I think about a quadratic equation, uh, based on what I have, I know that it is the number of squares will equal some constant times the figure number squared plus another constant times the figure number plus a third constant, ax squared plus bx plus c equals y. Uh, so I'm going to then go through and plug in figures and get my equations to help me solve for those constants. That's the next thing I need. So if I plug in figure 1, I know that my squares is 1, and then 1 squared is 1a, 1 times b is 1b, and then I have c. Now if I go to figure 2, I know that 3 squares will equal 2 squared, that's 4a, plus 2b, plus c. Then if I go to figure 3, I know that 6 squares will equal 3 squared, which is 9. So I've got 9a plus 3b plus c. And now I need to go through and solve these, uh, this system of equations to find the values of a, b, and c. So I start with the first two and, and look for what's the easiest variable to cancel out between all three equations, and that would be c, because they all have the same constant. So 1 equals a plus b plus c, and then 3 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. And I'll say, well, how can I combine them to cancel out c? I'm going to subtract my first line, and that'll give me 2 equals 3a plus b. Now, since I canceled out line 1, I need to do the same thing of line 1 with line 3. So 1 equals a plus b plus c, and then 6 equals 9a plus 3b plus c. And I want to cancel out line 1 again. So I got 5 equals 8a plus 2b. Now I have my new equations that I can then work with to solve. So 2 equals 3a plus b and 5 equals 8a plus 2b. And I want to say, well, what's the easiest thing to cancel? This time, it's going to be multiplying the first line by negative 2 because then my b's will cancel. So if I do that, Negative 4 plus 5 gives me 1. Negative 6 plus 8 gives me 2a. And my b's cancel, which this means that a is equal to 1 half. Okay? Now I can take a and plug it back into my equation and solve for b. So 5 equals 8 times 1 half plus 2b. So 1 
equals 2b, because half of 8 is 4, subtract it, I get 1, and so b equals 1 half. So I know my a is 1 half, my b is 1 half, so now I can plug those values back in and find c. So I'm going to go to a new screen, and I can use any of the three equations to do this, it does not matter. So 1, I'm going to use the very first one because it's the easiest, 1 half plus 1 half plus C. So I get 1 equals 1 plus C. That means that C has to equal 0. So what that tells me is that the equation I'm looking at is that the squares is equal to 1 half f squared plus 1 half f, and then c is 0, so I don't need it. So now if I want to find any figure, I can plug in my figure number, and that will tell me how many squares I have.